in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us join the choir to sing a hymn and praise the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Amen. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, 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 and again I say rejoice. Let's invoke the powerful intercession of Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full, full of, of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed are you, the amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, can we be happy always? I'm sure the answer would be no from the heart of many people. Yes. When we think to be happy is not that easy because we know that the life is a mixture of pain and gain, success and failure, joy and suffering. This is the life that we live. Then how can we be happy? This is the question many people ask today. But the word of God says, you can be happy every time. Together with the choir, we sang a beautiful song, Rejoice in the Lord always. In the letter to Philippians, chapter 4, verse 4, St. Paul says this very adamantly in this way. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. St. Paul wants us to rejoice always. And again he says, rejoice in the Lord. Again in the same letter, chapter 3, verse 1, Paul repeatedly says the very same thing. I'm Finally, my brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. And I have no problem to once again say the very same thing. So repeatedly we see that St. Paul exhorts us to be happy always. But we think, when we think normally, it is impossible for us to be happy always. 
Then why the word of God always exhorts us in this way? Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the people around us, including you and me, always look for happiness and joy. People do a lot of things. They earn money. They earn many positions and powers. Why? They have to enjoy life. They want to make their life happy. But dear friends, ultimately, they are not able to enjoy the real happiness in their lives. Today, many people say, happiness is not there because I don't have money or I don't have wealth. Some people think that I don't have happiness because of others. A husband may think in this way, Oh Lord, I was very happy till I got married. But from the very moment of married, marriage life, I have no happiness in my life. A wife may think or say inside her heart, I was such a happy person before. But once I got married, I got a wonderful husband. But from the very day of my marriage, the real sadness came into my life. Many people or parents do think that we are not happy because my, our children are not okay. They are not obeying. They are not going to the church. And they are not coming up to my expectations. And that is the reason we are not happy. And even the children, what they think? They think we are not happy because our parents are always there with a stick to control us. They don't give enough freedom to us. And that is the reason why we do not have happiness. And today many people think that my happiness is harmed by some other people or other person. To some other people, they feel that I'm not really happy because of my circumstances. A person who is very poor, he thinks, oh God, I'm sad. I cannot be happy because I don't have enough wealth. If I would have got enough money in my hands, I would be a very happy person. But we know for sure, dear friends, there are very many millionaires and wealthy people who have a lot of money in their hands, but no joy or no happiness in their lives. A person thinks, I'm sad because I'm a sick person. If my sickness is gone, I would be happy. But we know, even there are people who are very healthy, but cannot be happy. So what is the ultimate reason to be happy? That is what we today are going to meditate. Hallelujah. 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 In the book of Psalms, chapter 4, verse 7, the word of God says in this way, you have put gladness in my heart more than when their grain and wine abound. Praise the Lord. Praise you the have Lord. put delight or gladness in my heart more than that a wealth or money can give to me. What does it mean? The real happiness doesn't come from the outward world or the worldly pleasures doesn't make us really happy. The worldly pleasures and the happiness that we get from the worldly things are called momentary. We enjoy for a moment, then finally it doesn't give a happiness in its real meaning. Dear friends, again, there are so many people today running up and down to get happiness in, by indulging in different activities. Many people feel that they would be happy if they go to alcohol or some people feel happiness in watching movies or some people feel happy in enjoying life by riding or maybe some other sports and games but this happiness is not true happiness they are not the real happiness the real happiness is nothing but the gift of the Holy Spirit or the fruits of the Holy Spirit in the letter to Galatians Chapter 5, verse 22 onwards, we see the word of God says in this way. 
by contrast the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness generosity faithfulness gentleness and self control the word of god says the real happiness and joy is nothing but the fruits of the holy spirit if a person is filled with the holy spirit even in a different difficult situation he or she can be happy and that is the gift or the fruit of the holy spirit i remember an incident where i went to meet a lady who is of 36 years old and dear friends you know this lady is bedridden since last 18 years back since last 18 years she is bedridden while she was studying in the college they went for a picnic and the uh, the vehicle in which they were uh, traveling collided with another vehicle and as a result there was a major tragedy there and in this accident this young girl of 18 years was fully paralyzed no medical science could save her and now since last 18 years she is on bed i went and prayed for her then finally as i was about to get out of the house i just as a human way i said dear lady you must be very sad because your friends they have all got married and they are settled in a very nice way and you are still here since last 18 years you must be very sad right then the lady to my astonishment saying no father i am very happy and i knew that she speaks from her heart because it is shown on her face and she was just telling me her story father you know as i was a young girl i was not much interested with my with god or religious activities i was just a normal girl sometimes i go to the church sometimes i say a rosary if my parents compel i had long dreams in my mind I wanted to become a very good architect in the future and I wanted to build up my career and as a result I was just going after the dream of becoming a very good architect and you know what happened my dreams were shattered on the day of accident and ever since I could not bear my situation I was so sad I was very arrogant I was very angry with my parents I was not at all praying and two years pulled on in this way finally after two years two sisters came to me they came to me for praying over me I said no I don't need any prayer because our god is so cruel my god is so cruel I don't believe in god and I was just resisting their prayers anyway these sisters prayed over for me a few minutes and gave me two three books first book was the biography of sin alfonso and i was not interested in reading this book at all but finally when i got free time i was just going through the pages and i could realize the spirit working in me i could realize the pain god gives to me is for my sanctification and i try to understand that this pain could be made redemptive instead of making my life horrible and i started to thank the lord for my pain i thank started to ask the holy spirit to fill my heart and my dear father ever since i was touched by the holy spirit i was never sad I am extremely happy today. Today I pray for the whole world. I pray for every priest in the Catholic Church. I pray for every person who comes to me for uh, prayer and I know God will grant them all this what I pray for them. And I was really touched by her statement. Dear friends, how it happened? It is not any situation that makes you sad or joyful. 
It is the attitude that is in you that makes whether sad or happiness. Today, if you are imbibed by the fruits of the Holy Spirit, if the Holy Spirit is inside you, you have nothing to worry. You will be happy person, whatever may be the situations. There may be a lot of troubles ahead of you. There may be a lot of problems around you, but you are not bothered because you rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Dear, dear friends in Christ Jesus, the word of God says you rejoice in the Lord, not in the things of the world or of the things that God gives to you. The book of Psalms chapter 37 verse 4 says in this way, Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we repeat this sentence once again? Take delight in the Lord. Take Take delight in the Lord. And he will give you. And he will give you. The desires of your heart. The desires of your heart. Hallelujah. 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 The word of God clearly says. You should be delighted in the Lord. Not in the things around you. Or not of the circumstances that are around you. No. If you can be happy in the Lord, God is going to bless you in abundance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why Mother Mary, while she was praying, praising the Lord in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1, verse 46 and 47, the word of God says in this way. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. So Mother Mary says, my soul rejoices in the Lord. Yes, my soul rejoices in the Lord. You should know the situation where, uh, from where Mother Mary speaks this sentence. Because she, as a young girl, she was told about the incarnation of Jesus and she is going to be the mother of child Jesus and you know the situation, she was just betrothed to Joseph and the marriage has not had taken place. Even in this situation, depending on God's mercy and trusting in the word that God spoke to her, her she is telling, my heart and soul rejoices in the Lord. And you know, this rejoicing in the Lord made Mother Mary to take up the troubles that she had to face in the future. And you know, Mother Mary had a, a trouble uh, a full of tearful times before her. Her mother, son was crucified at the age of 33 and she had to just watch. And how she got it? How got she got the power? Because she was filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 So brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, do not blame the situations. Do not blame the, your husband, your wife, whatever member, family members around you because they are the reason for my sadness. No. The reason for your sadness is you do not have the fruit of the Holy Spirit in you. If you have the fruit of the Holy Spirit in you, the joy and the happiness will be yours and God is going to give to you today if you invoke the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Let us raise hands up to heaven and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we invoke Hallelujah. God's mercy. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, send forth your Holy Spirit to each and every one of us. Hallelujah. Let all the people who are sad today, who are watching this program, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let the heart be filled with filled with Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. We are in your presence. Fill us with the power. Oh, Holy Spirit. Live inside of me. Just live inside of each and every one of us, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, fill us with your power, live inside of me. Oh, you are the living water. You're the living water. 
Job chapter 22 verse 24 onwards. Let us listen to that. If you treat gold like dust and gold of Ophir like the stones of the torrent bed and if the Almighty is your gold and your precious silver then you will delight yourself in the Almighty and lift up your face to God. Hallelujah. 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 Did you listen to what it is said? How beautiful is the words. If you can put your trust in God, whatever you consider valuable in your heart, just throw away. Just like the gold you throw away to the dust, the offer you throw away to the stones on the riverside. And instead of all these things, keep God inside your heart as your precious jewel and the gold then you will be delighted yes friends we have no other way to become always happy but just to be filled with the fruits of the holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. let us close our eyes allah today we ask you to fill us with the holy spirit so that we can be always happy we can be ever joyful in whatever situations we are put into we make this prayer through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. 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 Lord, today we go in search of joy and happiness and we cannot find happiness anywhere. And you told, I am going to give you peace and joy which the world cannot give, which the world cannot take away from you. Oh Lord, you are the real source of our joy. Today, as we pray, Lord, as we raise our hands up to heaven, Lord, send forth your Holy Spirit so that the Holy Spirit may fill our hearts with greater joy and happiness. Dear brother, brothers and sisters, who are just asking the Lord to bless you with, with the happiness and joy. Raise the hands up to heaven. God is going to bless you. He's going to bless you in abundance. He's going to put in your heart the more greater joy and love that you need. 
No, the world cannot give this happiness. Raise the hands up to heaven. Let's raise and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Sacrament most holy